welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. I am really excited that it is harvest time for my Eastern Concord grapevine. And it is now the latter part of September and my Eastern Concord grapevine is ready for harvest. Now, I had a real challenge with the Eastern Concord grapevine this season because Denver, Colorado got a late May freak snowstorm. And check out my video about the snowstorm. I literally show my entire backyard that was impacted by that snowstorm. This particular grapevine already had buds on the grapevine. And I rushed home, grabbed all of my frost blankets, my commercial frost blankets, try to cover as many of my vegetations and flowers as possible. Unfortunately, I ran out. And I actually put sheets over my grapevine. I doubled up on the sheets. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to protect the buds on the grapevine. However, the grapevine did bounce back, as you can see. It's really, really nice, except the buds on this side of the grapevine actually froze. And so I didn't get a lot of grapes on this side of the grapevine. However, on this side of the grapevine, I got a lot of buds. And therefore, you can see I had grapes. I would have had a lot more grape clusters this year. Again, I've we, we had that freak snowstorm. One of the things I like to do is journal all the experiences I have growing all of my vegetations. And one of the things that I have learned over the years of growing Eastern Concord grapevines is to cut down on what they call leaf rust. Now, in July of 2018, I literally documented that around the middle of July, because of the intense heat and the fact that when the temperatures get up to 90 degrees, Eastern Concord grapevines is very, uh, it's very common to get leaf rust. So what did I do to avoid that? I started shading the grapevine. So this is a mesh shading. It gives about 20% shade on the Eastern Concord grapevine. In 2018, I had about 5% of leaf rust on the vines. Again, this is a result of temperatures over 90 degrees. So these, these are, this is my, my journaling and my documentation. So I know from the previous years what I need to do to try to correct issues I'm having with the grapevine. And therefore, I indicated that um, in the July temperatures were over 90 degrees for the entire month. Believe it or not, I only had two leaves that had leaf rust. So if you look at this entire vine, we've had 90 degree temperatures for two months in Denver. And none of these vines got leaf rust. One year, I had the entire vine had leaf rust. And I had to treat it. I, the, 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 the vine suffered a lot due to it. But this, this is how I corrected the situation. So Eastern Concord grapevines is a northern type of grapevine, does not do very well in high temperatures. So my tip is to get a frost, excuse me, a mesh covering and protect your, uh, your um, vines if your temperatures get over 90 degrees. Also, it keeps the critters off your grape vines. I don't have to worry about squirrels getting to my grape clusters. I don't have any of those concerns. So as soon as my grape cluster starts maturing, the temperatures start getting in the 90 degree temperature, this is when I put a mesh covering over the grapevine and I don't have to deal with it from that point on. Also, my grapevine is growing in wood chips. They've been growing in wood chips for the past three years. 
and as a result of that I feel that the nutrients from the decomposition of the um, wood chips has provided my grapevine with the type of nutrients it needs. So I really do not feed my Eastern Concord grapevine except I give it a fish emulsifier right at the very beginning of spring and other than that keep it water, keep it protected and over the years those are some of the tips and corrections I have made over time. Now to try to prevent the episode that happened this season with the um, uh, late snowstorm, I am going to make sure I have plenty of frost blankets, commercial grade frost blankets to cover the grapevine so I don't have a repeat of what happened in May when I ran out of frost blankets when we had that late freak snowstorm which does not occur. That was very freak. It just never happens in Denver like that and I'm a native. Therefore, I lost all the buds on this side. So I didn't get a, a lot of grapevine clusters this year like I did last year. So journaling your experiences with the crops you're growing helps you to understand how to overcome or correct issues that are either predictable or unpredictable so that each year you have a good successful crop. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start harvesting the grapes. Oh, one other thing I wanna point out that um, I wanna share with you. As a result of my grapevine growing in wood trips and being covered, I noticed that my clusters are ripening a lot more evenly. So in the prior years, I had noted in my journaling that that was something that was occurring. And as I started making corrections on what, what the problems was on the grapevine rust, I also realized that my grape clusters were even were um, ripening more evenly as opposed to not. So this is a good season for my Concord grapevine, except that this half of the row, unfortunately, um, the buds froze. So let me go ahead and start the harvesting. So. So far, this is what I've harvested, and I still have more to harvest, but these grapes are so sweet. Look how plump they are. Mmm. They are so sweet, and they have seeds in it. Ah, oh, they're beautiful, beautiful. So I'm going to finish harvesting, but this is what I've harvested so far. Just want to let you know that I am growing my grapevine on a bilateral cordon training system, where the arms from the trunk is trained on this wire and the arms from the trunk is trained on that wire as well as the top wire. So this is the training system I've been using for my Eastern Concord grapevines. I got a really great harvest despite that uh, May late freak storm. I'm going to continue harvesting. These are just beautiful grapes to grow especially in, in the cooler climates like Zone 5B. So. I'm glad you came along and was, be, was able to be part of my um, sharing the tips of growing this beautiful grapevine, especially in Zone 5B. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.